Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where I'm recording on my new laptop now. I finally got it working for recordings, hopefully anyway, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> um, I was just looking at the journal, um, sort by the oldest, or the new let's sort by newest. So we could go to Tachanka and land there. Uh, I might or might not be able to do the Barlavan thing at this point. I'm not going to do the Turian Platoon yet. I think I'm going to run around some systems, trying to get some stuff, and then we will we'll go. Maybe we'll go get the AP and Crest, but but I I know that if we go here to the Cerberus that's taken over uh, an old military installation on Tachanka. We can get the improved power grid. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we can do that. Man, it's been a while huh, since I have played this. Did I get new stuff? Oh. Oh yeah, of course. We just did the Ragnite thing. That's right. I need to run around talking to people then, probably. Not at all mindless insects. The Ragnite are capable of feats of engineering comparable with any sentient species. While initially greeted with suspicion, the Rachni workers dispatched to the Trucible have integrated into the project smoothly. They work especially well on tasks that benefit from group work, and senior Trucible staff members are learning to trust the Rachni with more complex problems. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and we got Grunt! A perfect Krogan was thrown into the world without a past, a name, or a cause. After destroying the collector with Commander Shepard, Grunt returned to Chianka to learn what it meant to be a Krogan. After countless arguments and brawls, the clans have granted Grunt a modicum of acceptance. Tough, wary, and cunning, the Krogan Krogan knows this experience will pay off. Now that it's time to fight the forces. By the way, I'm sick. I apologize. This is the Arlaka company, led by Grunt. So get some good. But he was appointed. Uh. Okay. Perspective is people. Yeah, our lack uh, company has our lock company or whatever has been wiped out because we left them behind to fight the rack the rack knife. But eventually, um, they they he does get new recruits. Need something, Shepard? Okay, bye, Rex. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. I've been... Something wrong? Morton. <laughs> he got his tissue sample from me. <laughs> Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah. yeah uh. uh. Let's make sure the Primark is good. Yes, Commander? Uh... I think we've already asked of those. Cause he's like, I can't That's tell all. you I can't tell you. Of anything. course, Commander. Also, did I say I'm sick? I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. I also drank some NyQuil earlier, so I'm like, Bleh. Anyway, I was saying, I want to play Mass Effect 1 again. I have it on the PC, and I wanted to play 1, 2, and 3 on the PC, but friggin' You have to use a mouse and keyboard, unless there's like there's like a mod you could get. Yeah, we had to evac another colony. We're losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have homes. Neither do Cerberus. If they did, they'd drop an asteroid on them. It's true. Uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, you have to like get a mod if you want to play with a controller, and I am a controller. Console pleb. Cerberus is attacking civilians on bedding. Oh, good. I mean, to help I mean, I mean that's bad, but. Yay! You know, my lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with oh. no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. I don't know if I ever remember her saying that last time. Let's check the mail. Nope, nothing in the mail. Alright, let's poke Joker. I was actually curious. I couldn't remember when we got Benning or not. Benning was a difficult fight, I remember. 
Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. <laughs> How's Grunt? Our little tank yeah. is all grown up, huh? Yeah. Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. That's true. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, <laughs> he'll think of you. <laughs> Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Yeah. Commander? There's that. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Yeah? Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian Good behavior? question, Shepard! I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. <laughs> the Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Tell me about it. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. I think last time Edie said, oops, or something. Like I didn't know, and I was like, but I think I did know. Like, I think I did. I can't remember, but... I mean, you know, you ask what you think the person will know. You know, I'm a human, so she asks me about human stuff. She would ask other people for other stuff. Oh, shoot. I need to go... I need to go buy the dang nab fish feeder. It really doesn't matter until I buy my jellyfish. When I get the jellyfish is when I will definitely have to worry about my fish. Whoop. Are you still alive? Oh my gosh, you're almost dead. You're ascending. That one up there. It's like Hey frog. What's a squeak? Oh, it's so funny. Man. Man, all I want for Christmas is every single freaking one of these. That's all I want for Christmas. I have actually asked for the Alliance fighter. I think there's a frigate. Also, a Turian fighter. Available. Pretty sure. I should, I should just make some of these. I should just make them. Out of Legos or something. I think somebody recreated the Mako I saw a while back. With Legos. I thought it was cute. Can't freaking wait for Andromeda. You should you Did you guys see? I know. I'm not trying to be spoilery, but did you see the female Turian in the in the freaking trailer? I was like, oh my gosh! Did you see how tall she was? Like, like, oh my gosh! Like Garrus is a little bit taller than you, but Turians are supposed to be like one to two feet taller than the, than like the tallest human. They're supposed to be really tall. And when she stood next to Ryder, she was like two feet taller than her, and she was beautiful. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. But a female Turian, like that is so cool. Like, whoa, Morden, Morden. Shepard, Eve, ready for travel to Tuchanka. Uh, we... Did we talk about all this? What well, can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan. Stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Yeah... Krogan immunity? Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, right. like human... Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. Okay. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. I wish we could talk Continuing with him more. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Does he talk to Eve in here? Like, should I, like come in quietly. I think I think he does. I don't know. Something else, commander? Do do 
do no we already talked about Morden how is Morden then treating you better than Krogan males do yeah no 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 organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase can't alter that damage to telomeres premature aging he does that <laughs> but I sense pain in him too he told I should consider him an enemy a sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Eve, I love you. Morden, I love you. Let's see, are you guys putting your dishes away? Don't just leave them in the sink. This is a military operation. Garrus, it has to load a lot longer now to get me in to see. Whoa, is he exploring or is he? I think every now and then he'll be on the sides. <gasps> Let's see where he is. <gasps> Garrus is in the lounge. Garrus in the lounge. Garrus, get out of the lounge. I'm just kidding, Garrus. It's cool. I don't mind. I think as long as you can look at a map and see where your companions are, wandering is great. I always check because I always am nervous. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries oh, she's over scientists there. who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. He? Yara? Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. Shepard is so What's beautiful. How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. <laughs> Shepard's like, okay. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. <laughs> only 109, huh? I know, it must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many, to witness so much death. Exactly, it's exactly what, it, at least that's what you read about in like, when like long lived or immortal species, they're like, eventually it just gets tiring and you see so much sadness. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. It wouldn't just be we me. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. Yep. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Sure, sure. Is that good? I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Oh, to like... Thanks for coming by. For the, uh, Krogan, the cure, or whatever, the genophage. Uh, yeah, yeah, Grunt addresses the new company. So I don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt, laughter. I don't understand why they gave me a whining pie for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Grunt, trying to mate with Solarian females and count as fighting. No one talks to you. <laughs> Someone help him up. We're moving in an hour. No ice. So Grunt's up and running. Email from Dr. Locke to Admiral Haggett. Security almost up on fire on the rack night when the ship pulled up the Crucible Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. They're, they're following instructions, but my goodness, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rack Knight straight down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes, Dr. Locke. Yeah, changing things up. Things are changing. Oh, let's see. Do I have anything? Uh, no. Yeah. I have 
so much ammo. Has so much ammo capacity. Uh, I believe this counts as the lounge. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnar. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, <laughs> Saren right. and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnar Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess <laughs> and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. <laughs> Garrett! Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. <laughs> There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Yep. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? <laughs> Let's hope this finally pays off. Garrus, buddy. You know how it goes. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy, we're a regular safari tour. <laughs> I love if him! If I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Not in your afterlife, grunt, 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 ha. Garrus. I think Garrus enjoys his little claim to f his, not his little, but his, his substantial claims to fame, but I think he also is really casual about it. Like, I don't know. He's just really, like, hey, like, seriously, like, he's real about it, you know? <sighs> forever, forever a wandering siha. See. Stop beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Caden didn't. Yep. Liara didn't. Yep. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here, right now. We have a war to win. So clear your head and focus. I ship you too. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. It will not be mentioned again. I do think he's probably a little younger than her, but I don't know. Hello, Commander. Hey, Adam, so glad you're keeping Chakwa's company. She needs Commander. It. She needs to know that she has friends. Sometimes I wish, like, Skyrim spoiled me just for the fact that you could sit on any surface and, like, kick back and read a book. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... It may seem pointless, but, like, I love that you can do that because then it feels like your character actually does get a break every so often. Like, just the fact that you can do that. It's like, okay, I'm sitting down. I'm not running around everywhere 24-7. Because Shepard doesn't sleep either. Like, you know, like... At least it doesn't seem like it. I mean, when she does, she has nightmares. So it never feels very restful. <sighs> Someday I'll play this game where I have a romance that, you know... I don't know. I'll have a more fun, relaxing, restful time in, in a bedroom rather than just having nightmares all the time. But... It's not in the cards for Raven Shepherd. Uh, Rack 9. That must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story that's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. <laughs> well, at least she knows how to control herself. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. You're you're a little bit terrifying. You talk like a robot. Where's Zaid? I want to talk to Zaid. I think somebody actually linked me the Zaid thing the other day. I need to go check my comments again. I'm running behind, I apologize. Two jobs is kicking my trash. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. You ruined then everything! We them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning, 
and warlike and turned on us. Well, yeah. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. Far-reaching consequences. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. Until they rose but up. If they will fight the Reapers now. So be it. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I'm glad you met him too. You two would be interesting pals. Someone mentioned that they think that they, that I don't know if it's canon or not, but that Yavik washes his hands to uh, kind of cleanse himself of the interactions with other people. Because he could wear on you, you know? I would prefer to be alone. No! I would prefer I to be alone. I would poke you. Poke you, poke you, poke you. Just you wait till I get all my pals. So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> what do you mean? You love whiskey? Hey, uh, Scotch, my dear girl. Scotch! That scunner drinks American <laughs> American, American bourbon. Different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Scotch! <laughs> You guys doing okay? Those FBA couplings you got us are still holding up. Yay! My board is green. Everybody's green and good and great. Grand. How exciting. How exciting. I'm... Oh man, I'm gonna miss Shepard. I, I mean, I, I like that... I mean, Andromeda is gonna be like a brand new adventure. Like, young, more adventurous or whatever. More exploratory. But... The trilogy will always... I don't know. Will always be. I I really enjoy playing as like a shepherd who was experienced. You know, like I mean, not like she was not like invincible, but like she she'd seen a lot of stuff. Like, and that you could kind of choose her background. Like that was cool. Like, you know, like you 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 came into it already somebody. You didn't have to like try to like earn your name that way. I mean, you still had to like earn your name. Like, are you still had to like? do your deeds and stuff you didn't just earn it and like keep it like oh look i'm famous or whatever i don't know i i enjoyed that aspect of it but it'll be interesting to see how a writer's story Good goes you, yo oh man yo 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 rachni of all the things that it's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass but me what does that even mean? What is the opposite of a horseshoe? I don't understand. Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking, at least. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> does he say that to a male shepherd? Do you hear that hum? Shut up, man. Is that just me? It is just you. You're getting indoctrinated. Shut up. It's creeping me out, guy. I think did I get I picked up a couple new pieces of armor, right? Yeah. Uh same set. I'll probably keep the mnemonic visor. Oh, this is is this the sentry? Yeah, oh yeah, no, I, I think I had it though, but what is it? It ups the shield boost but takes away power damage and power recharge. I do like that one, but this one's actually pretty pretty cool too. Sarah's Council Casa and the N7. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the Casa. Arms. Did I have the N7? Yes. I did like the buff look of these, but. Yeah, I can't lose the health boost. Wait, what? So this is the Hana. So we would lose the ammo capacity but gain a lot of weapon damage. Nah. Okay, just making sure. Do I have? I don't think so. I need. I would maybe need to up the Annie. 
I don't think, I think one of the, the achievements I don't have is actually, um, upgrading a weapon to level 10, which I could have sworn I did, but, you know, whatever. Claymore, the Mantis. Man, I wish I could test these weapons out. Too bad my game is broken. Maybe I should look at something online that's like, here's this tested out, but it feels, it's different when it's in your own hands, you know? So the Maddock is new-ish. Did I get? I think the Maddock is what I just got, right? Let's uh, let's up the ante on the Viper, I guess. Oh wait, no. Okay, that's what I thought. You can only get to five for some reason. Okay. So how do you get to level ten? Is that like a, is that like a multiplayer thing or something? I don't know. Well, looks like we're pretty good. All right, so I got my 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 weapon fully upgraded. I believe that's everybody. I feel like I'm missing people, but I mean I am obviously. But command and control units that pulverize their enemies with freaking everything on the planet. The N-72 Chonka mission is pretty good for sniper rifles, probably. I mean, there's some, there's really good cover, but also a lot of really good open spaces. It's open air, which is nice. At least I like that. Okay, so... I don't think landing on Chonka starts anything. Yeah, we're out. We're out in the... Okay, right. <laughs> okay, run! Right, okay. We're gonna have to run whenever we get back in here. Right? No? Oh, is that like a main mission? <laughs> that was close. Uh, Gemini Sigma. Whoa. Cure the Jennifrage. Shame me. I do kind of want to land and do a mission. We could go to Benning, though. Server Subductions. Is that Benning? In the Arctura system? I think so. And that would get us another Citadel mission. The Arctura system. Here's the Arctura station. Man, I cannot believe. Wow. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament in the nerve center of their military armada. Now it is a cold grave for 45,000 people. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a big number, but like... Signal confirmed. But like, holy crap, you know? If it's just gas, I'll be so upset. Okay, intel from the Battle of Arcturus. Themis, Themis. It rapidly orbits the massive star. If you're trying to listen to this exoplanet book, like a discovery, how, discovery of exoplanets audiobook, and it's really cool, but sometimes I just do too many equations, and I'm like, yeah. You know my lies neglected in the void. There is no obvious reaper presence here. Dang it. None of the infrastructure survived. Good. Probably just gas. Light jump successful. Man, I love the nebulas in this game. They're beautiful. And beauty. Where did I go? Okay. 
Also, apparently the traveling system is going to be a lot more different. Like, I know in the gameplay trailer, it showed that you, you it's kind of like the galaxy map where you're like, you pick where you want to go. Like, you just kind of have this, it's not a little ship. It's just like a little, like, circle thingy. And you pick where you want to go, but then the loading screen is basically zooming in to you, like, flying to this new system or whatever. And, like, landing on the planet. Which I love. I absolutely love. It's gonna be cool. Benny. It's the nearest garden world to our tourist station. It's the primary source of its food supply and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers were sent a small force defending destroys convoys, spaceports, and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help arrive. Heat sources in bending space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Population estimate is pre-invasion. Jorgen is the, is the capital. Let's see, in between these two. I found something. Yay, is it fuel? Probably. Yep. Go under the fuel! Cool, 100% of the assets discovered. Thanks for nothing. Actually, the fuel was kind of useful. Fermi is a rock wrapped in a haze of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Those temperatures and concentrations make it difficult to support life. That's the some point Fermi was impacted by something large, launching fragments of the planet into orbit. Wreckage from a scientific station can be detected here. More evidence of the river's presence in the system. Bang. They destroyed even that. Silva. Name from Matthias Silver, leader of the prospector team that unearthed the Prothean archives on Mars. This ice giant was once home to a large recovery operation for helium 3. All infrastructure on Silva has been destroyed along with the colony on Oliveira, the moon. I mean, it's just like the colony is destroyed, but that was like, who knows that many people, you know? It's insane. It's a scab planet? Okay. Fenning! Let's do it. This may or may not be where I end the first part. <laughs> Uh, so if I do end it, uh, sorry, I'm cutting you off here. We kind of did some chatting, but we'll hop right into the, uh, to the bending thing later in the next part. So if I cut it off here, thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next one.